Welcome to Psychology Refresh. Today we're going to rank MBTI personalities based on their tendency to follow instructions. Make sure to watch each one and find out which personalities are most likely to follow instructions. Some personality types always read and follow instructions and some just never do it. Each individual has their own habits with following instructions. However, based on general tendencies, we have ranked each one of 16 personality types in one of these categories. Here's the MBTI personalities ranking based on their tendency to follow instructions. Number 1. ISTJ Because they like to be well prepared, ISTJs are likely to read the instructions with just about anything. They want to take things slowly and learn how to do them correctly before diving in. They frequently perceive not reading instructions as a waste of time because it can result in errors. ISTJs believe in working hard to do tasks correctly and dislike making mistakes. For them, following directions is simply a necessary first step in completing tasks effectively. Number 2. ISFJ ISFJs typically welcome the opportunity to read the instructions since they dislike being caught off guard. Jumping into something without reading the instructions and doing their best to complete it quickly seems a little meaningless to them. ISFJs dislike going into situations unprepared, especially when their loved ones are frequently dependent on them. Number 3. ESTJ ESTJs firmly believe that following directions and reading them thoroughly will result in success. They frequently take the time to carefully read everything so they can be well prepared for what they're about to undertake. The ESTJ may occasionally see that some measures don't entirely make sense, and in these circumstances they aren't hesitant to suggest alternatives that are more effective. Simply put, ESTJs believe that reading the directions before doing anything will ensure that they are well prepared. Hey, if you're enjoying our content, please give this video a like, subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to turn on the notification bell. Number 4. ESFJ because ESFJs might be perfectionists, they frequently choose to follow the directions while doing the majority of tasks. They want to make sure everything is done correctly and try their hardest to keep from making any mistakes. Since they frequently have many people depending on them, it is crucial for the ESFJ to manage things properly. Most of the time they will read the directions before proceeding and may even conduct additional research. Number 5. INFJ INFJs prefer being well prepared for the majority of situations, thus they're not incapable of reading instructions. For them, learning and being receptive to what they don't know are key. They won't necessarily feel the need to read the directions if they're somewhat adept at using something. Learning and processing the knowledge they have are important to INFJs. They don't need to read directions, but they aren't hesitant to say when they are inadequately prepared for a task or routine and require a bit more information. Number 6. INFP Given that they occasionally prefer to wing it with things, INFPs might not always feel like reading directions. If the instructions look intriguing and they believe they can genuinely learn something from them, they'll read them. The INFP might get a little sidetracked by something else if the instructions are tedious or go on for too long. They frequently prefer to try to handle things on their own, yet doing so occasionally leaves them with unfinished tasks. Number 7. ENFJ ENFJs are capable of reading directions, especially when it involves material they are unfamiliar with. They really take pleasure in conducting research and learning how to excel in their field. They can be a little stubborn in some circumstances and don't want people to perceive them as flawed, therefore they might be reluctant to read directions if doing so will make them appear uncoordinated. Most of the time, the ENFJ is content and eager to read the directions in order to learn and advance their skills. Number 8. ENFP the instructions are typically not something ENFPs find themselves willing to read, especially if they think them to be quite uninteresting. ENFPs would rather just go with the flow and try to handle things on their own without needing to rely on pointless directions. They do enjoy doing research, but they prefer to do it on their own time since it gives them a sense of fulfillment. They could be a little obstinate when it comes to following directions and end up trying to handle it without this step. Number 9. ISTP Though ISTPs are undoubtedly drawn to information, they occasionally find it difficult to concentrate while reading directions. They're sophisticated individuals that value learning and doing research, but also enjoy being present in the moment. They occasionally become so preoccupied with the here and now that they don't really want to read the directions, especially if they think they can figure it out on their own. Number 10. ISFP In fact, reading directions can bore ISFPs because they typically find them boring. They favor being present and going with the flow. Reading instructions might be tiresome and even futile for ISFPs. 
They prefer using their hands to create things and will work hard to make things happen according to their terms. The ISFP isn't scared to handle situations on their own, even though this can occasionally lead to messes. Number 11. ESTP ESTPs are highly hands-on individuals, and their willingness to read instructions frequently relies on how they're feeling at the time. To be prepared and understand as much as they can about a circumstance or task, people sometimes prefer to read the directions. Other times, the ESTP just wants to go with the flow, and they don't want to waste their time reading instructions, especially if they believe they already know enough about their task or project, because they feel that way. Number 12. ESFP Reading instructions isn't always enjoyable for ESFPs, but it all depends on how they're feeling. They'll try their best to read the directions and complete it themselves if they feel the need to prepare. The majority of the time, ESFPs are frustrated with having to read the directions and may try to wing it. They frequently excel at performing tasks alone and don't back down from a challenge. Number 13. INTJ INTJs are regular readers who love having a lot of time to do their own study and learn new topics. This can sometimes mean that they'll be more than willing to read the directions in order to do the task successfully and without any errors. There are times when the INTJ believes they already know enough and don't really need to waste time reading the instructions that are probably not going to teach them much, but most of the time the INTJ won't mind absorbing a little extra knowledge to be able to manage any project. Number 14. INTP Researchers who appreciate knowing as much as they can about anything and everything are frequently INTPs. Especially if they're well-versed in the subject or circumstance, they may occasionally feel that reading the directions is boring and entirely pointless. They're rational beings who enjoy learning as much as they can, but occasionally they also enjoy flowing with the flow rather than needing to be rigid on their methods. They can be a little unpredictable in this regard, preferring instructions occasionally while finding them intimidating at other times. Number 15. ENTJ The ENTJ personality type is a researcher who values being ready for any circumstance that may arise. Even if people only quickly scan the instructions, they do frequently prefer to read them. They loathe entering any scenario without being fully informed ahead and prior to be ready for anything. When the ENTJ feels fully prepared for a project after doing extensive research, reading directions may seem like a waste of time. However, they frequently make an effort to learn even more knowledge if necessary. Number 16. ENTP Although ENTPs do appreciate conducting research and learning about many topics, that does not mean they always choose to read the directions. They will avoid delving into some instructions because they can feel a little tedious and exhausting. ENTPs typically enjoy learning new things and jumping right in, but occasionally that necessitates doing so without first reading the directions. Going with the flow and doing things their own way is beneficial for ENTPs. These videos will be really helpful for you.